It's been a long time since I've been on here. I had a lot of things to go through. I did not give up on the people of this country, nor would I. I have referenced a lot of law. I've helped quite a few people formulate their papers for court, which is fine. Now, we need to explain the problems with this country as we're going to finish this year and start a new one because it's time people woke up. It's woke up to the fact that Australians put the Constitution together. They weren't Freemasons, Jesuits, Communists or anything else. They were Australians and they put it together as a draft. They took it to England beginning in 1900. Now when it was in England, Queen Victoria added nine clauses. What for? To protect us. She granted us the right to go to the Privy Council from any court of a state or from the High Court on appeal. She didn't bind us. She didn't restrict us. Nor should we be restrained from going to the superior authority. Under Clause 8, we are a self-governing colony of England. We've never given anyone the right to remove that fact. Nor can we, nor would we. We have no idea that we want to get rid of our constitution. We've proven it time and time again. The annotated version of the constitution is this. The annotated constitution is a public record of all the interpretation according to the people who framed it. It isn't a con job. It isn't a lie. It isn't a fraud. Anyone who says so has nothing between their ears except a vacuum. If they can't absorb something, a vacuum created by nonsense spewed out by other people. On the 9th of July 1900, this was proclaimed, which is our Commonwealth Constitution Act, was proclaimed and gazetted. It is ours. And from then, we became the Commonwealth of Australia as of the 1st of January 1901. Each state was forced to comply. What did that do? It took every little piece of authority in this country from any parliament, any politician, any judge, anybody and granted it solely and completely to the people. Nobody else. Our constitution sets the parameters as how we are to be governed. If it doesn't come out of our constitution, it does not exist, i.e. local government. It's not in our constitution, it doesn't exist. It exists, so-called local government, it exists as a state parliament. If you take that out, you alter the constitution. Now the problem is, the parliament, through a decision of the High Court, which they decided has sovereignty, it has none, it has supremacy. As none. We the people are sovereign. We are supreme. The Constitution clearly says the Parliament is not supreme. The Constitution clearly says neither the state nor the federal Parliament are sovereign. Why? Because we are. Absolutely. That's why there's a referendum. Referendums cannot be taken under an act of the federal Parliament. We'll come back to that because there is no federal Parliament. Never has been. The fact of the matter is referendums have to be taken state by state as do all elections, both federal and state. You represent representatives to represent your state, the whole state, not boundaries, because the boundaries were removed at Federation under Clause 8. February last year, because it's still 2023, a group of people calling themselves police, they were public officers, they were not police, they were creatures of statute. That's a decision of the High Court. They do not get to decide who we are. We are the Commonwealth. There is only one sovereign nation ever recorded on this continent, the Commonwealth of Australia. Who did it include? The people. Where as the people? Not one, not white, not green, yellow or anything else. We the people, no matter what your colour or creed or where you came from. And not races, we're all of one race, the human race. Time to stop the lies. Our dictionary says if you're born here, you're native. I was born here, I'm native. I'm indigenous because the dictionary says so. I'm an Aboriginal because the dictionary says so. I'm not going to argue it. Get the dictionary changed, prove that I'm not who I say I am. Because this is nonsense what's going on. We're one group of people who should be given 
a lot of things, believe me, to bring their living standards up to what ours are without a problem. I have no problem with that. To look after their sacred sites, I have no problem with that. Everybody's religion is sacred under our constitution. Our constitution says so, 116. No government can legislate against a a person's religion, nor can they question it. I have a personal experience with God through his son Jesus Christ, nothing else. After all the rubbish that's been heaped on me in the last two years, I finally pushed the state solicitors into removing the case from the court. Oh, they had a good excuse. Because of my age? I'm a litigant in person? No. You yellow streaked pack of weasels. You are public officers. You could not beat 23 people in a jury on a voir dire. A voir dire is the proof of point of law, being that the state constitution of Western Australia was presented at Federation with 32 sections missing. Western Australia was never lawfully constituted, meaning you had five of the six states you needed to create the first federal parliament, so we didn't have one. You don't like me saying this because it's the truth. We have never had a lawful federal parliament. There goes your Treaty of Versailles, your joining the League of Nations, United Nations, ripping off all our money and giving it to overseas countries, when the Constitution clearly says all money in excess of the federal parliament's debts must be returned to the people, to the states, in relation to the head of people. Why isn't it? Because Albanese and his flea bags want to give it away, along with every other politician. I'm not just singling out Albanese, I'm singling out every politician. Why? Because political parties are treason. Can you have them? You can have them, as long as they don't get involved in the running of this country, because they have no rights. We are the government. Through our representatives, if those representatives represent us and not their political parties, you are not going to get any sign of intellect from a group of people who follow the teachings of some other clown. Socialism, communism, all the rest of the nonsense, but you're all of the same mind to steal this country and take it. So we initiated a present to the Parliament of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. This was sent on Monday, the 13th day of November 2023. To the Parliament of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, I, Wayne, Kenneth Glue, CPO, OWB, Commonwealth Public Official, which I proved in court I was, along with the documents, and the magistrate accepted that I was, to formally make a complaint against the company known as the Australian Government. It is a company with an ABN. Who owns it? And its subsidiary companies known as the State Governments of the Australian Government. Who owns them? The political parties. I respectfully demand that the Attorney General of Great Britain and Northern Ireland lay charges against the purported Governor General David Hurley and the purported Prime Minister Anthony Albanese, including all sitting members of the state and federal parliaments of the Commonwealth of Australia, for their crimes against His Majesty's subjects and His Majesty. These offences are treason, mispresent of treason, which is concealing it, theft of His Majesty's realms, treachery to overturn the Commonwealth Constitution Act, 1900 UK, treachery to overturn the Commonwealth Constitution, 1901, the person and, and personate officers of the Crown, overturn royal letters patents, theft of property belonging to His Majesty's subjects, and other offences to be discovered. This demand I make under the provisions of Clause 61 of Magna Carta, the people's right to redress under the imperial law when their government refuses to comply with the will of the people. Quiet time in on behalf of the King. Dated today, Monday the 13th day of the month of November 2023. And it was signed and witnessed by me, myself, as a Commonwealth public official, which I proved in the court I lawfully am. Now... It's time, Albanese, you stop your lies and fraud. You are not giving this country to overseas. You are not changing our currency. 115 of the Constitution clearly says that you, the states can coin 
money in coins, gold and silver coins, and you pay your debts in those gold and silver coins. The Commonwealth can produce paper money. It has no permission to do anything else. Page 795, the fourth paragraph of our Constitution, clearly states, If you exercise authority throughout this Commonwealth, which we are, you must show in the Constitution where you get that authority. You can't do it. You cannot delegate authority from the states to a local government. You liars that sit in our parliament. You things that call yourselves our representatives and don't. It's time you were removed. Time you got out. Before you stand trial for treason. Breach the oath of allegiance to us. That's treason. You don't even swear the oath of allegiance. And that goes back to the 16th century. One William and Mary, and that's inherited law, residual law to our constitution at Federation. Why aren't you complying? Because you want to remove the crown. You cannot change imperial law. The Colonial Laws Validity Act says that. So nothing that's taken place is valid in this country. You want to argue, I can front up and argue with you out of my head because I've learnt it. You people have no idea... I'm nothing special, just someone who has gifted a good brain and a good memory, and I'm going to use it against you until such time you submit to the will of the people. Not my will, nothing to do with me, to the will of the people. We are the Commonwealth. It doesn't matter what colour we are. And our Constitution says, under immigration, follow our customs and beliefs, submit yourself to our way of life. Our way of life. Or get out. Midnight rider, tell the rambler, the gambler, the backbiter, tell him that God's gonna cut him 